Hi everybody, it's Carlene again with another video for my friends at allfreechristmascrafts.com Today we're going to be making a Christmas pillow and we're going to be recycling or upcycling this red sweater here and I got this at my local thrift store for a couple dollars and so you can see how inexpensive this project is going to be you're going to be needing your sewing machine and some batting for stuffing your pillow and of course a scissors so what I want to point out is the sleeves are very useful as well because you can make a tube pillow with this just by cutting it off and stuffing it and then you can hand stitch the outside if you want so that's another project that we can do at another point so when you're looking for a sweater what I looked for was a nice stitch and and good quality and I was specifically also looking for a zipper down the front because I also want to use this in my pillow if you don't want the zipper you can find one that is kind of just like a pullover so what we're going to do is we're going to cut right under the arms so right where these arms start or sleeves I'm going to start cutting I'm going to turn it this way and you can decide how big you want your pillow as well I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to start cutting you can draw a line if you want um, I don't think this for this one is necessary and when I get close to where the zipper is I'm going to stop because this isn't the right scissors to cut through that I'm going to use this utility scissors to be able to cut through the the zipper part and it really cuts through really easily and then once I'm done with that I can come back with my other scissors and so while, while I'm cutting I'm pointing my scissors directly where the sleeve meets the body part so that way I can try to stay in line where I want to go okay and so here's the top part and we're going to put this away and save it for later and then I'm going to show you what the rest of it looks like so here's the rest of my sweater so all I'm going to do is we're going to turn this inside out like so and if you want you can also use some sewing pins and I'm just going to use them where my zipper is just to keep this in place we're going to do a straight stitch along the edge and then for this section I'm going to zip this as much as high as I can and then I'm going to sew another straight stitch so this is actually going to be a pretty large pillow but it's going to be a really comfortable pillow too so those sides are ready and so I'm going to take this to my sewing machine sew a straight stitch on both sides come back 
and then we'll flip it over. Okay, I'm back and I need to trim up the threads. There we go. And now I'm going to just pull my zipper down and then I can fill it. Now, before I do that, let me point out that if you didn't want your pillow to be this big, you could even still keep the zipper in the middle, but then just sew two more straight stitches to whatever size you want. So you can decrease the size and make it a smaller pillow. Um, I am going to just keep it the same size as a sweater. So the other thing that I want to point out is that you can come back and put a zigzag stitch on the edges to finish off the seams. But I'm not going to worry about that because it's basically just, I'm just going to turn it over and no one's going to see the seam at all. And the other thing I want to tell you when you are sewing across the zipper here, you want to go really slow and you can even hand turn your sewing machine so that you're not, your needle is not hitting this metal because if your needle hits the metal, you'll break your needle. So, and you don't want to do that. So just um, use the round turn handle and turn it by hand until, and that helps you make sure you get into the sweater part and not the metal part. And if you hit metal, you can just move it until you find a spot that is this, the yarn part and it'll go through. So the other thing that I did was I did a back stitch right on the sides here of the zipper. That's just to keep it, um, it's just to give it a little more strength there. Okay, so I'm going to take this corner point and then just, we can just fold it in and bring that out. Oh look, and my even, <laughs> my tag's going to be on my pillow. It says Liz Wear, which is really funny. Okay, so we're just going to kind of point out the edges and point out this one as well. And there you go. Look how long that is. I love it. So what I'm thinking this is going to be for in my home is um, kind of a pillow to support your back when you're watching TV. So I've got some regular batting. I'm going to just keep stuffing it until I get it to the firmness that I want. Boy, this is really soft and comfortable. Goodness. And so now I'm just kind of moving around, loosening up any little bumps that I see in my pillow. And if I have it uneven, I can shift around um, some of the batting here. Okay, and it's time just to zip it up. Make sure you don't get any of that batting caught in your zipper. There you go. And there's your Christmas pillow. So, I hope you guys like this project. And don't forget, you can make this pillow in all kinds of colors. I even got a green sweater to make more pillows and again you make sure you're using your sleeve if it's wide enough to make those tube type of pillows that are great for your neck so another option is if you want to add some Christmas ribbon around you can kind of wrap it like a present 
and wrap it around here and tie a cool bow and there you go so I hope you like this project for more project ideas please visit allfreechristmascrafts.com thanks for watching